13 races in all or 13 heats make up this test match scoring is three points for a win there you go that sprints are going down sliding down to earth the other riders passing him now this is where jessup also lost the lead there jessup from the international got three knight got two pommel pommel got one so it's five points to international one point to south africa 37,09 seconds in your picture now is andy reed from the international team and it is the South African Harrison on the inside and Simpson uh, just one away from the fence and there we have uh, Dave Townsend in your picture now getting ready for flag that's Donny Faree ex South African Speedway rider there the tape opens it's going to be a four lap race and away they go and it's Andy Reid in the lead Andy Reid from overseas the second man there is South African Harrison. And third is Alan Simpson, South African. Reed in the lead. Harrison. And Fountain. Going away from the others as they go into the final lap there. It is Reed in the lead. Andy Reed just walking away from Derek Harrison. And Dave Fountain. And it is Andy Reid gets it. Andy Reid from overseas. Coming to the line now for Heat 4 of this 14 Heat Test Match series with the overseas riders leading the South Africans by 14 points to 4. There's the South African, a prominent South African, Denzel Kent, meaning to do very well in this race in the red helmet. His partner here is Noddy Nordi. He'll be in the blue helmet. That's right up against the fence on the other side. But it's all eyes and Kent is the way they go. And the overseas contingent is Campbell and Snyman. As they go away, it's Denzel Kent in the lead. That's the South African in the lead. Denzel Kent leads on lap one. And taking the inside line, he's taken it away from him. It's Phil Snyman. Phil Snyman's taken away. There's Denzel right alongside him. Is he going to take that inside berth? That's the one to hang on to. They're almost touching legs as they go around there. There's one more lap to go and Kent goes back into the front. Is he going to be able to hold it? He's got one more lap to go. There's the yellow flag from Donnie Faree and it's still Kent hanging away there. Hanging in there from Simon. It's going to be Denzel Kent getting three points for South Africa. No, it's who gets it to the finish. It looks like Simon who got it to the line. Right and from the judges we get it that Denzel Kent just made it to the line by the width of a tie. So it's the first victory there for the South African team. The points position is 17 to the overseas riders and 7 to South Africa. What sort of motorcycle do you ride? Uh, I ride a 500 Godden, an English machine, a uh, single overhead cam. Uh, and is that suited to this kind of riding, a lot of low down out of corners? It should be, yes. At the moment it's not running too well, but it seems to be doing the job very well. That's our man, that's Derek Harrison from South Africa. And it's Alan Simpson will be assisting him there against Dave Jessup and Richard Knight, a very formidable team of international riders. They're in the white and the yellow helmet. Here they go. They're going to be Jessup from the outside first. He's cutting across. That's Jessup going right round on the right of your picture. He's got the third position, but hanging on the inside there is Harrison. Harrison hanging on there. It's in the front there. Richard Knight has gone to the front, and the second man there is Simpson. Simpson right on his tail. And the position is stopping all the time. It's Richard Knight. And it's Alan Simpson from South Africa. Knight, Simpson, and Harrison. And Jessup's gone back to fourth place there. And it's Knight going away as he comes to get collect the flag. It's Knight getting three points for the international team. So very fine ride there for Richard Knight uh, for the overseas team. And the points position now goes to overseas points 20, South Africans 10. Right, this is race number seven in the 13 race series. Donnie Ferry, the starter, puts down and the gates open and away they go. Kent on the inside, goes into the lead. Denzel Kent followed by Noddy Dirty, South African first and second. That's Kent on the inside, in the front there, followed by Noddy. And Noddy losing his place there to Andy Reid. Reid is in second place and chasing Kent. Denzel Kent, the South African, in the front. Then it's Andy Reid. Then it's Noddy Noddy. That's Kent and Reid. Two laps are gone and two laps to go. It's sideways all the way. There's Denzel Kent for South Africa and Reed is right on his tail and they're into the last lap now. 
Is Reed going to get him around this final turn? This is into the final corner now. It's still Denzel Ken. Reed nearly running up his exhaust pipe in it. Denzel Ken first for South Africa. Andy Reed second. And third across the line, we have got um, Noddy Nodi for South Africa. The time there was 37,68, a very fast time. Final result of race number seven. First South African Denzel Kent. Second was Andy Reid for the overseas team. And third, Noddy Nodi. Total time, 37,68. A very quick one. And the overall points position is now 25 points to the overseas team and 17 to the South African team. I see you there. That's all very quickly. Uh, yeah, it's all important, especially uh, on this kind of circuit. But uh, I have missed a game a few times and managed to get by, so uh, I don't think it's all starting, but uh, it certainly helps. Is this the first time you've done indoor speedway? Uh, yeah, this is the first time for me. Uh, I've studied the indoor in England, and uh, I've kind of tried to style myself off the uh, British champion, Jan Anderson. I see you hardly get time to sit in the cell at all. It's standing the whole way around. No, well, with me, you know, I'm, uh, I'm very thin, but I weigh 80-odd kilos, you know. And uh, if I sit back and let the tyre grip, I, I overshoot too far, you know, I've got to try and keep forward and keep the back turning all the time. This is race number eight on the programme. On the inside there is Gary Prommel for South Africa. And the other South African is Mike Cottle, one away from the fence. And in screen now is Andy Campbell. There's going to be a four-lap race. Johnny Ferri has the hands up. He moves away from the tape. They'll be watching the tape. Up it goes. And on the inside is Gary Prommel. Prommel and Campbell. It's still Prommel in the front. And moving up is Kleiman. Kleiman for the overseas team. It's Prommel for South Africa in the front. Then it's Kleiman. Then the third man is Richard Knight for the overseas team. And it's still Gary Prommel in the front there, walking away with his race. And they stop the race as we've had one of the riders go down. That's the leader coming through, and that's Gary Prommel. But down to earth, and looking behind to see if anybody's c coming up over him is um, Phil Kneiman there, not hurt, as he gets up and looks at the starter to say, please stop this race before this whole team comes down, uh, comes and rides over me. And the results of race number eight stopped after three laps was Gary Prommel for South Africa, Mike Cottrell for South Africa, and third was Richard Knight for the overseas team and the South African team starting to shape now they've got 22 points to the overseas team's 26 points the time there was 27.94 seconds for the three laps as we start race number 10 it is Andy Reid on the inside it's Peter Prince who just won away from him then it's Dave Fountain and Gary Prommel against the fence as the tape goes up, four laps to go, and Prince does a wheelie and loses a lot of valuable time. And it's Andy Reid going his own. It's Reid, and it is Prince Lou, right on his tail. Reid and Prince Lou. Whoopsie. And Prince Lou took that right over. Remembering these machines have got no brakes whatsoever. They've got a clutch and accelerator. It's Andy Reid going around the outside, and down at the back goes South African... Gary Prommel and it is Prince Lou getting closer to Reed all the time as they go around that that's Prommel picking himself up Gary Prommel as he starts to wheel his machine away and the whole field is coming up to him now there they are that's Reed passing and Prince Lou trying to take the inside berth and Prommel filling all his space and he takes his legs away from him and the race is stopped and they've got to rerun that one and this is race 10 Having his third rerun in the centre there is Andy Reid on the right-hand side, rather. Peter Prince in the middle, and then it is Dave Fountain on the left of your screen. With Gary Pommel starting in a penalty position right at the back of the field. And it's Andy Reid in the front. Prince Lou's in third position. Going for second, he pushes his way through to second position. And that's Andy Reid over D. And it's Prince Lou chasing him. And then it's Dave Fountain in third position. It's Reid, Prince Lou, Fountain, and Pommel. Reed, two laps are gone and two laps to go. And Prince Lou's still in second position and Andy Reed is getting away from him. Then it's Prince Lou. Then it is uh, Dave Fountain. As they come to the checkered flag, it's going to be Andy Reed in the front for the overseas riders, just cruising across the line. Peter Prince Lou second and Dave Fountain third, followed by Gary Prommel from South Africa. 
and the final order in that race was Andy Reid first from the overseas team or for the overseas team Peter Prince flew second for South Africa and third was Dave Fountain for the overseas team the time there was 37,95 another quick time and the points position is 33 points to the overseas team and 27 points to South Africa slowly creeping up on them and this is race 11 three races to go on the inside South Africa's Denzel Kent alongside him number two in the world Dave Jessup alongside him South African Mike Cottle and right against the fence there is Richard Knight four laps to go Denzel Kent must win this one to keep South Africa in the hunt and as Kent goes to the front followed by Jessup and Knight goes into second position and Jessup is third it's Denzel Kent and Knight and Jessup is third and fourth is Cottle and Denzel Kent nearly loses his footing and Knight is getting closer all the time two laps are gone and there's Denzel Kent for South Africa right up the front getting away now a comfortable lead then it's Richard Knight looking behind him for assistance and third is Jessup with Cottle right on his tail Cottle is challenging Jessup all the way and it's going to be Denzel Kent here comes Denzel Kent now Kent for South Africa takes the flag followed by Knight Jessup and Mike Cottle a very very good race indeed with Denzel Kent for South Africa gaining those three points the time there was 37 cover 67 so the final order there was Denzel Kent for South Africa second was Richard Knight for the overseas team and third was Dave Jessup for the overseas team to the overseas team and 30 to the South Africans with just two races to go I think we find it really very difficult to beat them because what we must realize is we have two professionals in the side yeah. and four amateurs up against six professionals, professionals yeah. and first division professionals as well so we will find it uphill but I reckon we're doing a damn good job right this is race 12 of the 13 races so we've just got two races to go the South African captain on the left of your screen Peter Prince are leaning his bike onto his, the only footrest on the machine alongside him is Dave Fountain representing the overseas team and then it's Alan Simpson and on the inside you've got Andy Campbell and it's some and uh, it's Peter Prince who, who would dearly love to move over from the fence right to that inside berth he's right against our camera at the moment he needs to move right across there as the start of Donnie Ferri lines them up the tape goes up and we've got four laps to go and it's Prince who's been left at fourth position there at fourth position and in the lead we've got Andy Campbell it's Campbell and then it's Alan Simpson and Prince has gone to third it's Campbell Campbell and Prince who's got himself into second position with Campbell with uh, Simpson alongside him and Prince who's got into second position and is chasing after Campbell it's Campbell and it's Prince who and it's Fountain and it's Simpson and here they come to the flag now it's going to be Campbell Prince Lou and Fountain. So it was Andy Campbell, the winner there. Uh, Peter Prince Lou was second, and third was Dave Fountain. The time 37,85. So the final points position is 44 points to the overseas team and 34 points to the South African team.